Welcome to LEGO Education Training, Mosaics and Numbers. In this video, you will learn how to use the Mosaics and Numbers set with preschool children. Section 1. Introduction of Materials, Mosaics and Numbers. Each Mosaics and Numbers set includes tiles, four white base plates, a teacher's guide, and 12 activity cards. Each tile might contain red, blue, yellow, green, or black shapes, numbers, or math symbols, or the tile might be blank. The teacher's guide gives information about the set and the skills that can be developed. The back of the teacher's guide shows an inventory list of the tiles included. The activity cards contain images on both sides of the card. The lower right corner has a number in a colored square. This indicates the type of activity for which the card may be used. Cards with green squares introduce shapes, colors, size, counting, and pattern copying. Red cards introduce rearranging shapes, shapes in the foreground and the background, and copying and construction of symmetrical patterns. Black cards introduce mirroring and problem solving. Students can identify symmetry in pictures and objects, make symmetrical patterns, sort using one or two attributes, read coordinates on a simple grid, and think logically, including determining which tile is missing. Section 2. Four C's. All LEGO education products use the 4C philosophy to help students learn. The 4Cs are connect, construct, contemplate, and continue. Connect. In the connect phase, the teacher creates a connection between the student and the content being covered. This connection could include a story, observations of the world around the student, or a question for the student to think about. Construct. In the construct phase, the student uses Lego bricks to create a project. Students think with their hands. They can solve problems by using the bricks to answer a question, create a solution, copy a pattern, or follow exact building instructions. Contemplate. Students think about the process of creating their solutions. They think about what they have created with their hands using Lego bricks and then talk with others about it. Continue. Teachers can ask students to apply the same skills and do another construction. They can dig deeper into the curriculum, or they can review the concepts that were used. When using any Lego product, teachers should ensure they follow the four C's, connect, construct, contemplate, and continue. This enables students to connect to the curriculum, construct models, thus engaging multiple intelligences and strategies for learning, contemplate what they have accomplished, including time for reflection before engaging in dialogue, and finally, continue to explore other possibilities. Section 3. Mosaics and Numbers Set Skills in this section, you will learn ways to use mosaics in the classroom. Mosaics can be used to help students with literacy and numeracy skills. This product helps students develop sorting, matching, number recognition, counting, symmetry, comparison, addition, subtraction, and storytelling skills, and enables them to begin building the skills necessary for working with shapes, patterns, and sequences. Placement of the tiles can help improve small motor skills and visual recognition of patterns. Students should choose the pieces rather than have pieces handed to them to use. This strengthens their problem-solving abilities. Asking students questions such as, Do these two pieces look the same? Or, How do these pieces differ? will allow students to reflect and then answer. Skill 1. Sorting Students can sort the tiles into different colors, different shapes, or a combination of the two. Skill 2. Counting Students can count the tiles before, 
during, or after they are placed on the base plate. Skill 3 Matching. Students can place tiles on the base plate to match the pattern on an activity card. Students can place tiles on the base plate with matching sides touching. Students can repeat a pattern made by a teacher. Students can repeat a pattern made by another student. Skill 4. Comparison. Students can compare tiles to determine which tiles have more or less color than other tiles. Students can learn the following vocabulary words. More, less, same, equal. Skill 5. Pattern and Sequence Creation. Students can create patterns using different colors with the same shape, using different shapes with the same color, and using different colors and shapes. Skill 6. Shape Identification. Students can learn to identify circles, squares, and triangles. Remember that students can find more than one type of triangle. Skill 7. Symmetry. Students can create a symmetrical shape by completing the other side of a given shape. Once students understand the idea, they can create their own symmetrical shapes. Skill 8. Story creation and storytelling. Students can create a picture using the tiles and then tell a story based on their work. Students can create a picture using tiles based on a story that was just read or told to them. Section 4. Numeracy Skills Skill 1. Sorting Students can sort the tiles into groups of zeros, ones, twos, and so forth. Place a few number tiles on the base plate. Students can locate all the remaining tiles that match. Skill 2. Number recognition. Students can say the name of the number on the tile as they place it on the base plate. Skill 3. Counting. Students can place the tiles in order starting with 1. They should say the name of the numbers as they are placed on the base plate. Skill 4. Matching. Place a tile on the base plate. Students can locate a match for the number. Skill 5. Patterns. Students can place number tiles to create a pattern. For example, you may start a pattern for them. 1, 2, 1, 2. Students can add tiles to continue the pattern. After students have mastered completing a pattern that you created, students can create a pattern of their own. Begin with a two-number pattern, then increase to three numbers, and then four numbers. Skill 6. Addition. Start with a simple addition problem. 1 plus 1 equals 2. Students can use the mosaic tiles to represent each value. Students can move the mosaic tiles from under the items added to the area under the answer. After students understand the concept of adding quantities together, you can simply use the number tiles without the mosaics. Skill 7. Subtraction. Start with a simple subtraction problem. 2 minus 1 equals 1. Students can place mosaic tiles underneath the beginning value, 2. Then, students can remove the number of tiles being subtracted, 1. Students can move the remaining tiles to the area under the answer. When students understand the concept of subtraction, they can use the number tiles without the mosaics. Section 5. Summary. While working with mosaics and numbers, students can practice numeracy and literacy skills. Students can sort, count, match, compare, create patterns, and create pictures and stories. Asking students questions, letting them think, and allowing them to try an answer rather than giving them the correct piece will help them learn how to solve problems. Students learn from their trials while they create their own connections for future use.